Hey all this is Raj here and um, welcome to Share Trick. Uh, today this is a very different video. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is specific to Canada. And friends, I know many of you do not live in Canada. Most of my viewers are either from the US or other countries. So I request you to please forward this video to as many Canadians as possible and particularly great if you can forward it to any Torontonian as they may relate more to this. So this marks my journey from being a liberal when I immigrated to Canada to getting disillusioned by two liberal uh, Ontario premiers and now a liberal prime minister. Toronto is in a mess by any extension Canada is also in a mess. Our monetary policy is being neutered by the federal policies and the middle class is getting decimated. It's absolutely painful out here and let me explain with some uh, context. We need to go back to when I immigrated to Canada at that time Dalton McGuinty was the prime uh, the premier of uh, Toronto and uh, David Miller was the mayor of Toronto. And McGuinty repeatedly vowed to put an end to coal-fired plants in the province by 2007 and when he came into office the government extended the deadline by two more years and then further pushed it to 2014 so i'm not worried about those things because um, eventually things will get done and at that time in september 2009 the ontario power authority announced it had uh, accepted a bid by trans canada energy to build a 900 megawatt new, uh, natural gas fired power generation facility in southeast oakville and on october 1 2010 the local opponents rallied at the ontario legislature and brought in uh, american environmentalist erin brokovich to help them generate publicity for their fight with the government liberal mpp for oakville kevin flynn at that time battled his own government's plan for the gas plant on october 7 2010 liberal energy minister brad dugaid announced that cancellation of the oakville gas plant will take place ceding to increasing opposition and on october 7 2010 the government announced the cancellation of the oakville plant the ministry communique uh, stated that tce was entitled that is trans canada energy was entitled to reasonable damages and the anticipated financial value of the original contract on the same day the minister sent a letter to the opa advising them of this directive and this commitment to make tce whole became the central to the massive cost escalation of the project But then subsequently uh, kathleen win uh, became a premier and she signed the cabinet directive and this uh, saddled the government with a huge bill for uh, nothing in return The act of spending government money to help a party MPP retain his seat did not go well with the public in my personal opinion. A final report uh, report by the Auditor General of Ontario that was released on October 8, 2013 found the total cost of the cancellation was dollar 950 million out of which 275 million was for the Mississauga plant and 675 million for the Oakville plant. This cost included estimates of future cost to the ratepayers. Then Dalton McGuinty uh, won his uh, premiership once again, promising not to increase taxes. But despite uh, promises not to increase taxes, his government uh, enacted provincial tax increases that raised the province's top personal income tax. He broke the no tax promise when the province was faced with a 5.6 billion deficit. And McGuinty introduced the health care levy that cost working Ontarians $900 uh, each year. and was the single largest tax increase in the province's history premier mcginty also promised the increase was temporary and would later be reversed but neither he nor his successor uh, kathleen win uh, made good on the commitment the successor kathleen win went on to further disappoint me with her lackluster performance win never really made a mark uh, fed up liberals moved away from the liberal party but kept the liberals in the federal government in order to balance out so the strategic voting at that time was let's uh, get rid of the liberals in uh, ontario uh, province because they have not done a good job but let us keep liberals in the center so that they can balance the incoming conservative government So Justin Trudeau is now making me leave the Liberals yet once more uh, his utter failure to do his job uh, constant and constant virtue signaling is getting a bit jarring for me at this point in time there are 2900 homeless refugee claimants and you can see tent cities on the city parks and homeless people sleeping on the pavements and you have to be absolutely careful when you walk around the place and we also have panhandling on the traffic lights uh, close to 300 individual callers 
seeking a bed are left unmatched for shelter space each night and 45% of them are refugees. We also have 7,400 homeless Canadians any given night in Toronto per latest statistics. Over 2.2 million people in Ontario do not have a family physician. They need to go to walk-in clinics. Just 40% of Canadians say they could access primary care after hours. As per the RBC study, Canada could be short of 30,000 family doctors by the end of the decade. Specialist physicians surveyed report a medium waiting time of uh, 27.4 weeks between referral from a general practitioner and the receipt of treatment, longer than the wait of 20, uh, 25.6 weeks reported in 2021. The average annual number of newly licensed teachers in the province plummeted from 12,138 to 5,795 5 between 2011 and 2022, according to the Ontario College of Teachers. The Ontario College of Teachers 2022 transition to teaching report shows Ontario teacher supply is not keeping up with the, uh, with the pace of the demand. The average daycare cost is around 1,600 uh, 1, uh, in Ontario and ranging up from 70 a day. So imagine paying 1600 a month just for daycare. Some experts say it might be a good idea to put your name on a waiting list while you're still pregnant, as the waiting list for some of the centers can be around a year and two months. So that's the situation with the daycare. That's the situation with the hospitals and the primary care for the physicians. Michael uh, Hurley, the president of Ontario Council of Hospital Unions, OCHU, and Doug Allen, QP's hospital uh, sector research, presented the finding of a report called The Hospital Crisis. No capacity, no plan, no end. In their latest available data, the union estimates Ontario needs to boost bed capacity and staffing levels by 22% over the next four years in order to adequately care for the province's aging and growing population. This means about 8,170 more hospital beds need to be added and 60,000 more staff need to be hired, according to the union. For Toronto alone, the union says 2,270 hospital beds should be added and about 11,960 more hospital workers need to be bought on. I'm not sure if this takes into account the over 1 million immigrants we got last year, of whom uh, a lion's share comes to Toronto, which will be around half a million. And I also do not know if it takes into account the new immigrants arriving this year which could very well end up close to 1.2 billion by the year's end by my estimates. Toronto is in the midst of a serious housing crisis, one that is having an impact on both new and long-time residents. One group that is likely to suffer most is retirees who are living in their own homes and they are on fixed income and they are likely to be pushed out of the city as property tax increases at a steady clip along with utility costs and inflation on all items. And those retirees who are renting out a part of their house in order to get supplementary income and who happen to be on uh, rent control are not going to get any relief. Now, if I look back at the last so many years of uh, Trudeau, the image I get is of a person least aware of what is happening in his own backyard. He is gallivanting across the globe and uh, doling out millions and billions of dollars to various international causes, mouthing platitudes and virtue signaling at every opportunity. Did he think uh, properly before allowing such a high level of immigration to happen? Women who want to work are unable to find it economical with the high cost of daycare. Citizens who fall ill do not get family doctor and if they need a specialist, there's a long waiting list and a long waiting time. Hospital beds are hard to come by. Should he not focus on getting the women the necessary daycare so that they can join the workforce? Dollar ten a day daycare has not yet taken off the way it should. Canadian companies are cheap and they do not want to pay. Canadian graduates go south for better pay packages and better weather. We do not have corporate competition be it in the banking sector or in the telecommunication sector or in the dairy sector. Everything is more expensive in Canada than south of the border. While the central bank is fighting inflation by raising interest rates, Trudeau is inflating the economy with immigrants, uh, saying there is a labor shortage. There is no labor shortage here. Companies want cheap labor. People are working two jobs at minimum wages to stay afloat. 
as a realtor i have seen young people uh, joining together to rent a, a three bedroom uh, house where they are living two to a bedroom so there are around six people sharing a three bedroom home so that they can afford to pay the rent and the when immigrants arrive they come with some money to take care of their living expenses for the first three to four months at least and regardless of the central bank uh, raising interest rate the immigrants need to spend on food and rent both these categories are have shown stubborn inflation rising interest rates threaten to cause a housing crisis when mortgage renewals uh, next year will see major difference in uh, uh, monthly uh, mortgage payments due to the higher interest rates many may not qualify for their renewals for their homes that they are currently living in investors are not getting sufficient rents to justify investing in rental properties while the rents are too high for the average tenant neither the investor is happy nor the tenant is happy presiding all over this is trudeau as i said totally clueless i get the regular uh, liberal party email asking me to donate i just told them to take a hike sorry i am very frustrated with this entire situation and um, uh, i do not want to use bad words and other things because i am a polite canadian uh, but do you see it differently or the same if you are a torontonian and if you are a canadian do you see the same thing happening at your part of the world just please comment and uh, let me know what you think thanks for watching this video sorry but i thought sharing this uh, would make me feel better but strangely it hasn't uh, but i look forward to your comments and uh, see what you have to say about this Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.